In this video, we are going to explore how you can unlock Canvas AI full potential using powerful prompts from Flux Pro. As you may already know, Flux AI has been changing the game for print-on-demand creators with its incredible design generation capabilities. But today, we are taking it one step further. We will be leveraging those same Flux AI prompts to see just how well Canvas AI can perform. By the end of this video, you will discover how combining these two platforms can give you stunning results for your designs. But hold on, why even bother using Canva when Flux AI is already so powerful? The answer is simple. Canva is an all-in-one design platform. Not only can you generate images with Canva as we are going to see in this video, but you can also edit your designs, remove backgrounds, upscale, and prepare your final design all within Canva. This makes it a better multi-purpose tool for print-on-demand than Flux AI. While Flux AI excels at generating impressive designs, they often require additional editing and adjustments, something Canva and other similar design platforms handle seamlessly. Plus, with Canva, you get privacy and an unlimited number of design generations with Flux AI's models can't quite match. Now let's get into the fun part, comparing prompts. I have taken five prompts that work wonders on Flux AI and we will see how they perform on Canva AI. You will be surprised at the results and if you stick till the end, I will provide you with some tips on how to edit your Canva prompts to get the best results. So let's dive into it. So let's head to Canva and press on the create a design button and we're going to customize our design size to 4500 by 5400 pixels which is optimized for print-on-demand platforms press on the elements button and instead of searching for elements we are going to go down to the AI image generator and press on the generate your own design here we have a window to enter our prompt and we can see that Canva has many fixed styles for the AI art, but we're not, we're not going to use it. We are going to paste our first prompt, which is in front of you on the screen. And we can see that there are many styles for Canvas AI that we can use. However, we are not going to use any of them and we will press on the generate image button. And as we can see, we get very cute and nice designs reflected of our prompt. If you press on any of these generated images, they will be placed on your artboard. All of them, they look really nice and professional. So the first prompt works really well with Canva. And if we pre press on the edit image button, we can then press on the background remover to remove the background of our image. And then we can upscale it or stretch it to fit our design board and we can also press on the magic eraser button and use the brush to remove any extra design elements that we don't want from the generated image as you as you can see we have some spots at the background that we don't need so we can just mark it with the brush tool and after we're done we just need to press on the erase button to erase these extra elements and this is how you can edit any of the generated images on your canva platform later on i'll show you how you can make an amazing design using this generated image so the first prompt resulted in a great image result and we can use it to generate images on Canva without problems just by changing the cat to any other element and we will have similar results and if we press on these three buttons at the top we can generate similar image of the one we like which is a new addition to Canva that was not there before for the second prompt I'm going to use this prompt for the T-Rex let's clear this prompt and paste the new prompt and I'm going to add on a white 
background because usually this generates better results on Canva. And as you can see, the four results that we got are really amazing. Very clear lines, vector style, perfect for print on demand. And again, once you press on any of these results, they will just be placed on your artboard. And again, we can use the background remover and the eraser, the magic eraser to delete any unwanted parts of these images and all of the generated results look really nice. For the third prompt, I'm going to use the one that used for the skeleton. Again, I'm going to add white background to the prompt. And once again, we get very nice detailed vector-like images. They look, they look really nice. So again, another prompt that works very well on Canva. Let's edit it and remove the black and white option so that we get colorful images. And by running the image again, we get also nice results with colors this time. Yeah, sometimes the image do not, sometimes the images are not generated in the best way, like the fingers are not accurate, but we can always generate more and more results until we get an image that, that we like. For the next prompt, I'm going to use the sticker of a monkey playing guitar, single color background. And as we can see, we got nice four images. However, some of them are not really vector-like. So I'm going to add cartoon style and remove the single color option and <laughs> press on the generate again button. And this time we get four amazing results, very colorful vector-like stickers and very similar to the result that we got on Flux AI. The next prompt is the, the bear prompt. We are going to test it with the text part and once we press on the generate again we get really amazing results. Unique style, vector-like, sharp lines. However, as you can see the text is completely out of shape that's why that's because canva does not create text in the best possible way not like flux ai so what we are going to do is to remove the text born to be handsome from the prompt and run the prompt again and press on the generate again and once again, we get amazing results. This one, I like it so much. Looks really great. And also, this one is amazing. And again, this Flux Pro prompt proves to be very powerful on Canva. Now, Let's start creating um, a couple of designs using the prompts, using the images that we have generated. Going back to the first image, I'm going to use Canvas apps to, to create my design. We can use the image upscaler, but you can see that it says that the image is already in high resolution. That's because Canva AI creates the images in high resolution, so there is no need to upscale the image. We can also use the Typecraft tool to create effects uh, for our text. Simply choose any font and play with the word in the, in the edit shape box to create the shape that you like. And also you can add borders and change the colors and once you're satisfied you can simply press on the add element to design and the text will be 
placed as uh, as a shape on your board or you can simply go to the text tab and use one of the templates that canva has to add it to your design like so just press on any template and it will, it will be placed on your artboard and then you can edit the text as you like and change the colors so let's remove the the upper text and start creating and editing some of the words and i'm going to use another text template to add more text to the design so this part i will fast forward this part and i've added also some store elements to the design and eventually duplicated the upper text and this is how our, our final design looks like so there you have it, a powerful combination of Flux AI and Canva AI that can truly elevate your print-on-demand designs. So remember, Flux AI prompts are very powerful and can work wonders on Canva. However, you need to make sure to remove any text prompts from the prompt and always make sure to have to add the on a white background part and make sure to add to add the vector style or cartoon style to your prompt to get the same results that I had. So let me know in the comments below if you have discovered any other Flux AI prompts that work particularly well on Canva. And don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and be sure to subscribe for more tips and tricks on boosting your design game. You can also watch my previous two videos